welcome back to another episode of the kind of after Christmas before New Year's episode of Farming Simulator 17. I am Brad, I'm 73. How are you guys doing tonight or today? Um, hopefully everybody had a good Christmas. Mine was okay, like nothing, nothing special. Um, didn't really do much. Um, but yeah, it was all right. And, um, so hopefully everybody got, like, Farming Simulator and, you know, <laughs> a new computer to run it or, you know, whatever, whatever it was you so desired. I, I've got some messages, you know, a lot of people, whoops, a lot of people was like, yeah, I got Farming Simulator or I got a new drone and, you know, all kinds of cool stuff. So, love hearing uh, what you guys uh, got, so let me know down in the comments. And if you didn't get something, let me know what you didn't get that you wish you would have gotten. Cause that's almost more important, right? <laughs> so, let's see. We are picking up from where I left off in the last episode. Uh, let's see. 15, I think, is planted. I think we did all of the... I can't remember. Well, no, we don't need to plow. Not yet, at least. Let's see. Okay, so 12... 14, 15, and 19 are all growing. So it looks like we just have to seed on 24 and 23. Let's see, what are we what are we growing here? We have corn, soybeans, sugar beets, and soybeans. I think I'll probably do these two fields also in soybeans. And if I'm not mistaken, don't we have like a great demand? I think we might actually have a great demand. Come on, go. Which we, you know, we still haven't sold any of our crop from the great demand, so we'll have to do that. Okay. And only because we have a great demand, I'm going to get this little bit right here. Oh, it didn't even give us one, one liter. Okay. Um, let's see what we got. Let's, let's take a quick look. Um, oh, no great demands, but we do have a pretty high. I would have swore we had a great demand last time. Or maybe I'm thinking of my, um, I might actually be thinking of my, uh, my live stream. That's, pro that's probably what I'm thinking of. Um, all right, so I got a cedar down there. Ah, uh, no. Not going to be able to make it across the road there. So, yeah, I haven't streamed, um, like, since I think last Wednesday. Um... Just a lot going on. I, here we... Uh, <clears throat> my mom uh, has a rental property and the water heater sprung a leak, so I was dealing with that the last day or so, two. Um, and I probably another day or two on top of that, so it was kind of a mess. Um, luckily, the tenant is out of town. Uh, <laughs> she's actually on vacation, so, so that was nice. Uh, so I still have until the end of next week to get all that sorted out. So, but I gotta get, uh, get a new water heater ordered and scheduled to have it installed. And yeah, it's just kind of a nightmare right now. So, that's kind, of, that's kind of the reason why I haven't been streaming. And I've been playing, like, a bunch of GTA here lately with some friends. Uh, GTA Online. Just kind of taking, a like, a year-in break. And, you know, it's it's a tough season for me now. I mean, I, you know, last year I lost my dad right before Christmas, and it's kind of just... I don't know. It's cold and miserable, and, you know, it's like every day is kind of a reminder of last year, so... That's been tough. Um, yeah, I wouldn't want to wish this on everybody or anybody, for that matter. And and then to make matters worse, worse, Carrie Fisher passed away. Now, if you don't know who Carrie Fisher is, she is the actress who portrays 
uh, Princess Leia in the Star Wars movies. Um, she actually had a heart attack, I think, back on December 23rd. And she passed away a few days, I think, on Christmas Day or the day after Christmas. And literally a day after she passed away, her mother passed away as well, which is, like, just even more shocking on top of that. Just really, really tragic time for that family. And, you know, as somebody who grew up with Star Wars and watching Star Wars and... Um, you know, like, I'm sure when I was a little kid, Carrie Fisher, you know, Princess Leia was like my dream girl. I don't know. I can't really remember. I remember I had a pic, or I had a poster of Princess Leia um, in her, like, slave costume uh, in my, like, in my room, like, somewhere in my room, like, I hung it up, and then my mom got really mad because my mom was kind of, like, super religious back when I was a little kid. She, you know, she... She was like gonna make me, or like you know, tear it up and all this stuff. And so I, I you know, I took it down and I like hid it away in a, um, like in a little, um, I can't. It was like a booklet or something that I had in like in like one of my filing cabinets. I put it in there so so she could never find it. But I probably didn't really look at it that much after that anyway. But. Uh, kind of a funny funny Carrie Fisher story there but yeah it was really sad I'm just like you know as, as sucky as 2016 has been I was just I was like you know this is this is just par for the course like you know this is going to be terrible and you know it's like now we don't know how it's going to affect future Star Wars movies which I know is incredibly selfish for me to say um I guess my hope is that in episode 8, which apparently I, I read the news that she had actually wrapped filming for, so, um, you know, in episode 8, which should come out the end of 2017, um, my hope is that they will somehow kill her character off so that there won't be this awkward sense of Princess Leia in episode 9. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Um really really you know it's it's just terrible um you know like you know like Harrison Ford died in episode 7 so you kind of think that Harry Fisher might die i mean i you just never know you don't know those kind of things and i guess we won't find out until episode 8 comes out we just we won't know but um i was just kind of thinking from like a business standpoint from the movie making standpoint like, now what do you do now that one of your, like, foundational characters is gone? I mean, it's, I, you know, I, and I, I completely sympathize with, with everybody um, that, that works on those films. I mean, it's just got to be a tragic loss. I mean, we lost Kenny Baker. Didn't we lose, yeah, it was, I'm pretty sure Kenny Baker passed away, like, in August. August or September. And he was the he was uh, the little guy that played you know that like drove R two D two, or he played R two D two like he like he actually got inside of the R two D two robot and made his head turn and I don't know did did whatever else he did. You know he passed away and it's like man, that's just absolutely awful. So yeah, it's just it's been so depressing lately <laughs> that. Uh, I can't help but giggle. Um, let's see. So what else? Let's see. What else do we have to do around the farm here? Well, how are our pigs doing? Pigs are doing all right. They could use a little bit of soybeans or something. I might actually already have some up there. Yeah, let's, uh, first of all, we need to try to figure out, oh yeah, we've got our, our seed, is this our seed? 
I'm pretty sure that is seed. And this is fertilizer. And if not, it's the other way around. They didn't really label the the boxes or the you know the pat the the seed bags very well, I don't think. So we will head up to the uh, the other farm really quick. Or the pig farm, I'm sorry. Check those guys out. And we may do a job. I don't know yet. Kind of don't want to do a job because then I got to speed up time. But we might do a job. I kind of wanted to do the job over there, just like off screen, but then I, I realized that the, the resulting file would be like seven or eight hours long. And I think iMovie might have like a, like a nervous breakdown if it were to, if I were to <laughs> import it into iMovie. Um, okay, so we've got sugar beets there. And... What is this stuff? It doesn't look like wheat, it doesn't look like barley. It's not canola, so... And I don't think it's sunflower seeds, because sunflower seeds are kind of dark, too. Yeah, this is wheat or barley right there. Um, let's go ahead... Whoops. Drop that off. Pick this up. While I'm thinking about it, let's uh, go ahead and just top off the water. Okay. Whoops. We have 70, uh, so we're actually getting up there on pigs. We're gonna be pretty self-sufficient on pigs here pretty soon. We'll be able to make like, you know, 25,000 a day at least. Move forward. There we go. Okay. Wait, we do have a great demand for something. Oh wait, that was that the sugar beets or something? That might have been the sugar beets. I don't know. And there's our feed bag. Which someday we're gonna get a, a telehandler, and I will get that out of there. Just not really in the in a hurry to do that. Okay, so I think that's going I think that's pretty good. Let's check on our cedar. He looks finished. So we'll get him started on field number 23 and we'll finish the weeding. <clears throat> and then we'll be ready to fast forward time. All right. Over to this guy. <clears throat> so one thing that's kind of surprised me from Giants this year is we have not seen 
um, like an, an official like paid DLC prior to Christmas or prior to the end of the year. I haven't heard anything from Giants um, regarding you know possible DLCs or or anything like that um, here recently. I uh, hope to catch up with uh, my contacts at Giants here in the next few days. Uh, maybe after the holiday. I know a lot of people are on vacation right now. And, um... Uh, so, yeah, I'm just, you know, want to hear whether or not uh, there's any new stuff coming out here in the near future. It's been really quiet, and, uh... You know, traditionally, I think for both uh, Farming Sim 2013 and 2015, or, you know, just 15, um, we actually had um, DLCs out. Uh, both times before Christmas. So why they didn't this time, I have no idea. But they didn't. Okay. <clears throat> I guess a couple things we're going to have to do coming up. Wait, where's the... Where's my corn header? I gotta find the corn header. <laughs> I'm going to have to make a course play route or something for this field. Because, well, because we need to, for one. Um, the other thing I want to do, the beacon off there. Um, let's, yeah, let's take the train back. I don't know what it's doing over here, but whatever. A lot of people have said, oh, buy some sheep, buy some sheep. Um, I want to have enough, like, money to basically be able to buy about 20 to 30 sheep starting off, which isn't going to be cheap because it's it's basically $40,000 for every 10 sheep because I think they run $4,000. We're going to need at least eighty dollars to uh, $120,000 just to get started on sheep. No sugar beets. Okay, we'll... Wheel Dan. Um, all right. So I think what I'll do while the cedar is doing his work down here is um, we're gonna click on the the courses down here at the bottom. You're gonna see like grain transport load at start. We don't need that. We will do combi empty, uh, empty combine and offload. So we'll click that. And then <clears throat> we'll just go into like like right inside this border here, I think. It'll probably be a good enough place right here. And what I'll do, since I want to put my sugar beets down at the central transport hub, I will drive this course, and you can actually see the course line behind us. And you will see, we're going to drive this down here. 
Hopefully you'll be able to see this in this episode. Hopefully it'll make the corner okay. Sometimes they spin out. You got to be kind of careful. But we'll come up here. And sometimes, you know, they'll even hit cars. There's actually going to be cars on this road. Now, all we have to do is drive over the uh, the tipping point, which is right inside here, this yellow box. We just drive right over that. It'll automatically stop and tip whatever we have inside here into the, uh, the tipping point. So we'll drive back out, taking care not to overlap the course as we drive parallel to it just in case you ever have to put more than one vehicle on a course. And we'll just drive it back. And <laughs> this tractor is very underpowered, so that's why we're having problems making it up the hill. Okay. And then we can kind of stop this about where, you know, about where we leave off. You can go out onto the field and it'll actually automatically detect the combine, but we don't really need to do that. So I'm going to click this and here now we have our course. Um, and if we want to see the full course, uh, we can go here to this gear and where it says show waypoints right now we just have it showing the start um, the you know hide start and end points but if we want to see all of it um, we can click these middle buttons and or the little four middle balls or dots and it'll show us all the the course we could actually drive down the hill and see the rest of it and then we can also show um, any other stopping points or other uh, points along, you know, key points along the route. Uh, this is a pretty simple route, so you don't really need to do that. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is just save the course. So there's a little diskette, looks like an old three and a quarter, or I'm sorry, 3.5 inch diskette, which I'm sure none of you, you know, most people have not seen really in at least maybe 20 years or so. <laughs> Um, I kind of stopped using three and a half inch diskettes probably in the late 2000s or so. Um, but anyways, uh, we're, we're, we'll click that and I'm just going to say this is field 15, field 15, um, and I'm going to put SB meaning sugar beet offload. And so now if we go into our... Uh, manage courses there's our first course right there so it'll be all set to go and actually we can just leave this tractor right here um, and it'll be all ready to go ah so while we were lollygagging around doing that this guy's finished up uh oh I just remembered we have to do all oh no 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 we have to do all the weeding again, don't we? Ugh. So I guess I'm gonna have to get... Shut him down. And I'll probably just get the more powerful track. I'll probably just get this guy to do the weed. Well, actually, that probably doesn't make that much sense to do that. Oh wait, we got two weeders, yay! Now we probably actually can do some, uh, like we can probably do a mission or two while we're getting the weeding done. It should go pretty quick. Um, if I start up at this corner, it will usually 
do field 15 and 14 because of some weird bug in the the way the fields are you know close together so i'm just gonna get this guy like over here um probably get this guy completely out of the way where he will not be a factor because that is never fun when a tractor screws everything up okay let's get this guy down we'll put the other these are actually less expensive to run per hour so yeah uh, let's see how are we doing down on field 23 whoops to get down there to him a little bit more to do and then we can fast forward time Okay. Fast forwarding time. Oh, I'd love to do the wheat mission back there. Actually, which take about 20 minutes or so to do that one. Let's get this guy back to the farm. And start weeding. Do 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 do. Yeah, I just want to get the weeder on this guy and get him set up probably on field 12. Yeah. I love the brake lights. I just absolutely love them now. <clears throat> oh, shoot. And of course, it's going to be a cloudy day tomorrow. So we're may not get quite the yield I, I believe the clouds affect the yield um, I'm not positive but I'm pretty sure they do I know hail does for sure all right so he is all set to go get this guy back up to the farm almost wish I had a third weeder but i don't think we can afford a third weeder right now i gotta see how much of a loan we still have taken out i've kind of forgotten in the, in the last week okay and away you go weed weed And this sh this is our our third fertilization pass. Again, if you want to learn how to do this, um, you always weed like directly after you do a harvest. So as soon as your combine is off the field, you want to weed it. That will give you a light blue color. So you can see where it says fertilized. It'll give you the light blue color, like field 16. We don't own field 16, but I just that that's there for illustration. Then you'll see on field 12, it's a darker blue. It's like this middle blue. And right up here in this corner and actually down here, you can see it's a darker blue. So we, we, will, we will have, actually if I refresh the uh, map here, you can see the dark 
path. For some, for whatever reason, it doesn't update the map on the fly, but uh, you just refresh it and it'll it'll show you the fertilization stage. So we've got the the dark blue. That's what we want there. Um, so that'll be the third fertilization stage. Plus, you also want to make sure that your fields are plowed. So if they were red, if our, if the, these are the fields we own, 12, 14, 15, 19, 24, and 23. Um, and if they needed plowing, they would be red instead of brown. And you can actually see there's a couple little tiny spots around that uh, haven't been plowed, but um, that's all right. And you can see like field 22, definitely not plowed. So that's going to give us our full fertilization stage. And the reason why all this is important is um, if you don't plow, it decreases your crop yield by 10% or no. Yes. So, okay, if you don't do anything, let's say that's 100%. That's like whatever your normal crop yield is, is 100%. If you plow your fields, you get an extra 10%. Now you only need to do it every third, uh, you know, every third after every third harvest, your fields will turn red, and they'll need to be plowed. So that's when you have to do the plowing. So you don't have to do that as often, but the fertilization steps you have to do every time. That's why I'm doing the weeding right now. Now the fertilize the the fertilized steps for every step, you know, light blue, dark, or you know, medium blue, dark blue, up here. For every step you get, you get an extra 30%. So each step, so 30 plus another 30 is 60, plus another 30 is 90, plus the extra 10% you get from plowing every every third harvest gives you basically a, a, another 100%. So by doing these things, you get twice the crop yield that you would otherwise get if you didn't do any of this stuff. So if you're having problems making money, that's you know what you want. That's why you want to fertilize and uh, plow. So hopefully that's made sense for you guys. I think it probably has. And it's starting to get dark on the farm. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll have about a hundred pigs. And then we'll go one more day after that where we'll be able to, we should have about 25, 30 pigs we'll be able to sell that first time, which should give us a pretty, you know, it'll give us, you know, if we have 30 pigs, we should have about $30,000. I think we get around a thousand bucks a pig, something like that. Um, actually, we can go up here and look. If we were to sell a pig, yeah, you get a thousand dollars a pig. Um, so yeah, if we have 30 pigs, we'll get $30,000. So that's pretty good. And then we'll be able to do that literally like every day. Now you remember we had 73 pigs before, I think. Now we have 76. So just in, in fast forwarding the time, just that little bit, we've gotten three more pigs. So another 24 hours we'll have at least, you know, probably 95 or so by the time the crop's ready to harvest. And the more pigs you have, the faster they reproduce, which is also super awesome. Now, you remember I start started in the corner, I started weeding in the corner over by the silos. Now you're gonna see something strange happen here, I think, hopefully this will work. There's our other guy weeding off in the distance there. Yeah. So he's going to turn around. And he's just going to weed this little bit. But then he'll turn around again. And I'm going to be disappointed if we don't get the whole edge of the field down here. 
I might have to readjust my... Oh, it looks like we're getting the edge of the fields there. It looks like it's turning dark. Um, let's see here. Let's look at the map. Yeah, it shows it's fertilizing, so... That's all that matters. I'm happy. And it'll just kind of continue on uh, doing its own thing there. Uh, how are we doing on field? Okay, he's going to be done fairly soon. Uh, let's see. There's a quick job we can do. What do we got here? Man, it's going to take that long. Wow. Um, let's go ahead and do this job. This will probably only take like 10 minutes. All right. Should have done this with course play. Oh well, that's all right. No big deal. How much? How many minutes do we have to start off? Was it 15, or is it like 15 minutes and 20 seconds, or something weird? We can see up on field 14 that Helper J is still working. Is obviously what we want. We don't want him sitting idly by doing nothing or being frozen in time while we uh, do the jobs here. And the jobs essentially, as far as I can tell, the jobs run at real time. Kind of. I don't. I don't think. I don't think time actually passes in the game, but I don't know. Maybe it does. I've never done a job like super duper long that would really lets you see the passage of time. There's a pretty much a, almost a quarter of the way done. Be a quarter in just a moment. Yep, there's a quarter. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't really get too much for Christmas. I didn't really want anything. I mean, there wasn't really anything that, you know, that I felt like I really absolutely needed. I mean, there's always like things that you want, but you know, like like all the stuff that I, that I would personally want, I know my mom would never in a million years buy for me. She's kind of not really, I think I told this story before, but I don't think my mom's ever once gotten me something for my birthday or for Christmas that I really, really wanted. Like my mom was always like the kind of person to buy me clothes or, you know, stuff like that. And it's like, you know, you kind of want fun stuff at Christmas. At least a lot of people do. And, you know, it's like, you know, my mom would give me like, like a little savings bond or something when I was a little kid. And, you know, it was like, 
I think I cashed them in when I went to college, like a long time, you know, when I got out of high school. And I mean, they, they made some money, but it wasn't like hitting the lottery or anything like that. And, um, you know, it might've been like a hundred dollar savings bond. And then I don't know, it might've been worth like $200 by the time, you know, I was old enough to cash it out. But anyways, you know, all that aside, um, you know, she, when I was a kid, she wasn't like, you know, she wouldn't get me like GI Joe stuff or really like any kind of the stuff that I liked. At least I can't ever remember getting me, um, like anything I liked. And I remember like one year there was something that I really, really wanted. Like all the other kids had it and I, and I, I'm not going to like talk about what it was. Um, cause looking back, it just kind of, I like, I kind of feel childish about it. Cause I mean, you know, it was like kids stuff back then. But anyways, there was like this toy that came out when Christmas, everybody on planet earth was trying to get one. And like the one thing that I wanted for Christmas, like she didn't get, and, and I know she could have gotten it. Like it, it wasn't, it wasn't an issue of like, you know, she wasn't going to get it. It was the fact that she didn't buy it because it was too expensive. And so she got me like a knockoff version of this toy and and it was just like a nightmare and it I, like to this I just remember how much it hurt me and <laughs> I, t I told my mom about that like as a matter of fact like when I was out cleaning my dad's house one day my mom was there with me and we were and I happened to find like all the old boxes with my toys in it and I was like oh here's this box with that toy that you bought me that I absolutely hated and she and she and she's like, "Well, I'm sorry." Oh, it was kind of funny. But I just remember at the time I was just absolutely crushed, and she just was never like that. I don't know. So I don't. I don't really ask my mom for anything. And of course, um, you know, I don't really have any other family that buy you know gets me Christmas presents. So it was kind of funny. Um, Oh, we're almost three quarters of the way finished now. So we're getting there, guys. We are getting there. I uh, know I didn't want to open that up. I'm like multitasking again. Um, yeah. Huh. Okay. Oh, we're so getting close. And I think, yep, all my guys are finished working, so we gotta get done. Um, I also wanna give, um, a couple shout outs here one to uh, ben harper um and another to um alex trigger um you guys both donated um actually you, you've been kind of loyal donators you know sending sending some donations in so i wanted to thank those two guys you guys have been absolutely awesome i really appreciate it um kind of you kind of hit the christmas mark so you know totally unexpected and just you know thank you guys both of you so much. Uh, if you guys are interested in donating, I've got a link down in the video description. 
Um, and also, um, on my channel's main, uh, the main banner, there's a, a donation link. Um, right now, I'm, I've only got PayPal, so you can make a donation through PayPal. Um, but I am trying, I, I am, I promise, I, a lot of people keep asking me to set up a Patreon account where they can do, you know, like, regular monthly donations. And, um, I am... I am looking into it. I, I've started the process, but it's a little bit more in depth than what I thought it was going to be. So, um, you know, I'm going to try to do that after the new year. Cause I don't know, just whenever there's like a new year, everything always kind of stresses me out for whatever reason. So, um, and plus like I've been trying to do my, ta get all my tax stuff together because um, I got to get that turned in uh, here in a couple weeks. So, um, yeah, it's just been kind of crazy. And, um, but yeah, I'm going to try to get that set up uh, for the, those of you guys that, uh, that, that like to contribute through Patreon. Because some people like, they'll only contribute through Patreon, which is, which is fine. I don't mind. But, uh, but yeah, thank you, Alex. Thank you, Benjamin. That is awesome of you guys. And we're done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay. <laughs> that was more annoying than it should have been. And I totally didn't see how much time was left. Um, all right. Let's get this guy. We'll just take him over to field 23 or 22. No, 23. This is field 22. I don't own this one yet. <laughs> Ooh, this one still has some growth on it. Hmm. Get him going. There, see, it, yeah, it's working. I don't, didn't look like it was coloring in like it should have. All right, we'll take this guy down to what field nine, sixteen? No, nineteen. And next we'll have to get our Massey Ferguson prepared to harvest the sugar beets. And hopefully it'll do okay with the sugar beets. But yeah, here you can see uh, fields 12, 14, and 15. They're all dark blue. So we've got the, um, the, the best uh, fertilization. You can also see field 23 starting to get colored in there. And also field 19. That'll you know just take a few minutes. Um, down here on page 17. Oh, this will be quick. Oh, it's like a little New Holland, the T5. I don't know if I've ever even used a T5 before. It's so small and cute. Diarrhea, diarrhea. Diarrhea. Wait. 
See, there's really not a tank here. This is like, I have a hose plugged up right to my butt, and the the tank is like the pressure. You know, it's like a pressure tank to suck all the di. No, that's just that's just terrible. I don't. I'm so I'm so sorry, guys. That's just disgusting. I should I should know better than to just be so gross like that. I saw I, there was like a um I saw there was I think I want to say it was in Ireland but it might have been somewhere in the UK there were these protesters that were protesting something you know how protesters are and <laughs> like they're protesting something that like the vast majority of the rest of us care nothing about and um, they were on this farmer's land, like on his field, and so he went up with like a slurry tanker, actually pretty close to this, it was pretty similar to this one, and was like basically spraying um, slurry all around them. He actually backed right up to him, and I thought, oh no, but then he didn't end up like spraying them directly, because that would probably ended up have ended up being assault. So what he did was he like slurried the entire field around where they, you know, where they were set up with their tents and, and everything. So they were it basically, I'm sure it stank to high heaven. And uh, and then they had to travel through it to get out. So it wasn't wasn't pleasant for them. Yeah, I think uh, if somebody was doing that on my property, uh, <laughs> that would be kind of the same, same kind of, I'd probably do the same thing. Or if you just, you know, if you have a sign out in front of your house saying trespassers will be shot on site, then they're... <laughs> that's terrible. I shouldn't say that. That's that's a little bit too overboard there. Ah, uh, come on. You can do it! There we go. Come on, go. You can do it, I know. You can do it, I know. I don't think I don't think I've ever done anything on this field before, on any map. Maybe maybe I have, but I don't remember. Okay. Bam, there we go. So, two grand. That ain't bad. We brought our A game. Did you see that? Not our B or our C game, but literally our A game. So, hopefully, we can get the rest of the weeding done here in the next few minutes. We're probably at about an hour right now. I'm not entirely sure, but I want to get all this done so that we can definitely come back in the next episode and start the harvest. Uh. Okay. I'm going to kind of keep an eye on this because sometimes these weeders kind of flip out and they don't go down all the way down the, the field seems like whenever I actually you know keep my eye on it it never does it but if I hire a worker and I go off to do something else then they're kind of like screw you Brad I'm turning around and then they'll like stop right here and then they'll turn around or you know somewhere else along the path oh it's so frustrating but that's what they do just to make me mad. I think after the first pass is done, I think we'll be all right after this. I 
And once he hits about halfway finished with this field, I'll probably start speeding up time. Because then, you know, it, it we might be finished by the time... Um, or the fields might be finished growing by the time we're done weeding. And I real let's go look at the prices again really quick. Got seventy six pigs and oh, we got the great demand on corn. Row three. Not a bad deal, to be honest with you. Um, but we're only going to get like, you know, if I take the, that full trailer load, which I think only holds 31,000 or 30, I don't know, it's like 31 or 32,000, we'll only end up getting like 15,000. We'll probably won't even get that. So I'd like to wait until I have more corn and probably a, a better great demand, like. Like something at the Denton Bakery or at Maplefield Mill or even Gomez, Gomez Ridge. You'll get, a, you know, when, when you get a better yield, you know, you'll be able to get a lot more money. Okay, so. Oh. Guy's finished. And I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to speed up time right now. I think that's about where we need to be. You can see it's getting dark. I'll just come back, stop again, and then we'll just have to do a little blip on the corner. And we will be done with this field. We're going to be broke once we hit midnight again. Because every midnight, what happens? That's right. All of our payments come out. Uh, now, another thing I can do, let's see here. Um kind of minimize that if we go to finances yeah 175,000 I'm just going to repay 10,000 now we will go negative but we won't have quite as much of a, a loan interest payment and then we can always borrow five or ten thousand dollars back it's not gonna you know it's not gonna kill us or anything not gonna kill us do that let's see how many pigs okay so we're up to 77 and it's not even midnight Okay. Yep. Golly. And the more vehicles and stuff we have, that's only going to get worse. When we have to uh, pay those daily fees. Man, I tell you, it's really painful in this game. You know, a lot of people don't think about it, and then all of a sudden, bam, midnight hits, and they're like, wait, where'd all, where'd all my money go? And you really, in this game, have to plan for that. If you don't, it's going to bite you right in the boobahs. I, I don't know what the boobahs are, but you definitely get bitten there. <laughs> One of these guys is going to have to go on... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
now it's turning sunny. If it's cloudy overnight, I don't really care, but... I want... We'll get the front hooked up there. We only have one tipper, don't we? Uh-oh. No. There we go. Okay, so I want to start... I think I want to start up at this end here. And we'll just, uh, we'll just lower both of these for right now. It's not going to be a huge deal. Um, too many pigs we have now. The 81, 81. Oh, we'd have a little more than that. Okay, we got so cloudy. Okay. We'll just get this guy set up really quick to offload the corn. Now I'm almost wishing I would have gone and taken the the uh, the corn up for the great demand. I don't know. Could we might still have the great demand? I don't know. Usually not after this much time. Nope. Actually, look, corn right there, 447. That was, that's better than the great demand we had before. 460. You sure? Yeah, because what was the great demand? 408. It looks like corn prices are really going up. No. So I'm just taking this guy over here to get ready for the crop yield. Now if we were going to chaff this, we could start chaffing right on this stage. Uh, you can... You can chaff on when the when the corn is green like this and fully grown. But we're gonna wait till the drying stage or the the dried stage, I guess. Oh, uh, see, he's ready to go. I think pretty much everybody is ready to go. Um, the only issue I'm gonna run into is um, I only have one tipper. So, um, we might want to take corn, sell it at Goldcrest Pacific. Um, golly, prices of, um, sunflower, or not sunflower, soybeans is really bad right now. Should be selling, or should be, maybe, maybe, a, oh shoot, I don't have a, a sunflower header though. So I'm probably going to plant canola this next time. And I don't know, maybe some barley. Wheat's actually not looking too bad right now. We really need to get those pigs up. We up to 85 pigs. We can see, you know, we're going to get another pig here in another hour. Nine minutes. 
49 minutes. About 12 or about 130 or so, which would be 1330. Get another piggy. Moments. There we go. There's our pig. So every hour and 44 minutes. So again, the more pigs you have, the faster you, you know, the faster you make more pigs, you know, pigs reproduce. Um, uh oh. We do have an issue with their cleanliness. So let's go ahead. Actually, I might save that for the next episode because I'm pretty sure we're either at an hour or we're, we've surpassed an hour of recording. This is probably a pretty good place to stop. Um, so yeah, we'll be back uh, in the next episode. We'll continue on with the harvest. We got tons of stuff to do. We got tons of sugar beets. We've got corn and lots of soybeans, which are kind of, well, low, very low priced right now. And, uh, and then we gotta get the, get, get the uh, pigs all cleaned up. So we will do that. Oh, there's the corn already, and looks like everything, everything's probably ready, all ready to harvest. So, so yeah, I think this is a good place to end the episode. We'll just drive this guy up to the the uh, pigs, so that we can get them clean in the next episode. Well, that's it for this time. As always, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you like my videos, like my channel. Um, leave a, please leave a comment. I always love hearing from you guys. And again, let me know what you guys got for Christmas or what you wanted to get for Christmas and didn't get or what you got that you didn't want or you got that we're incredibly embarrassed by. Those are always the best stories. Those are the best presents to talk about, especially when you're older. Um, I love always love hearing from uh, you know about them. So let me know, guys. Well, that's it. I am Bradham73. This has been Farming Simulator 17. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now.